Hi there, Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of seven books, host of two PBS specials, here again to bring you another tip on how to help you create the life you want. Today I want to look at a quote that I adapted from Seth Godin. He is one of my favorite authors. If you haven't uh, read any of his works, I encourage you to Google him. You'll love it. He had a quote on pet peeves. It was great. He said, I kind of adapted a little bit. He says, peeves make lousy pets. They bite. They eat a lot, they crap all over the place, and they don't clean up after themselves. Now, let's take a look at that and see how that helps us create the life we want, right? Because I think sometimes we can't have a pet peeve. You know, there's something that really bugs me. My pet peeve is when people ba bum ba bim ba bum ba bum bum. And when we say bugs, what we really mean is irritates. So the word peeve means to irritate. If you are peeved, you are irritated. So why would we make an irritation a pet? And what does it mean to make an irritation a pet? Well, what do we do with pets? We like bring them to our house, we show them off to our friends, we feed them, and we clean up after them. So when we have a pet that loves us and we love the pet, and it's this wonderful experience, then okay, probably all of that's worth it. But when we have a pet peeve, an irritant that bites and eats too much and craps all over the place and doesn't clean up after itself and peeves us, irritates us, why would we want to make that a pet? Why would we want to bring that into our life, show it off to our friends, and feed it? Because when we kind of talk about, man, this really bugs me, my pet peeve is ba bum ba bum ba what we're doing is bringing it into our life, showing it off to our friends, and feeding it. And for those of you who follow my Life from the Top of the Mind philosophy, you know this is actually a chemical we are feeding to our body, adrenaline, noradrenaline, and the big one, cortisol. Cortisol in a short burst is no big deal. But when we find ourselves feeding that pet peeve over and over and over, man, that particular experience becomes problematic for our immune system, for our weight, for our digestion, for our sugar levels, for all kinds of stuff, because cortisol triggers glucose, glucose is sugar, here we go, here we go. So what I think we want to do is ask ourselves, hmm, have I chosen pets that I wouldn't bring into my house, that I wouldn't show off to my friends, that I don't want to feed, and I don't want to have to clean up after? Do I really want to be peeved? If not, I think what we got to do is we got to make a decision that we're not going to feed that irritant. We're not going to even call it an irritant. We're certainly not going to call it a pet. We're going to say, okay, in the past, you know, I had a tendency to feed this particular irritant. You know, I wasn't doing that on purpose. It didn't really didn't work for me. Certainly it was not something I would teach to someone I love. Therefore, I'm going to be more purposeful about the pets that I bring into my life. The kinds of thoughts and feelings that I bring into my life and feed and take care of and show off to my friends. Because when we actually do this, when we become more purposeful about the qualities and characteristics we bring to life, what we feed, what we show off to our friends, what we make room for in our life, we actually engage another part of the brain, what I call the top of the mind. This upper 80% of the brain, the neocortex, where we have access to our clarity, confidence, creativity, compassion, love, because that's what we do with the pet. We love it and they love us back. What we don't want to do is try to bring an irritant into our life and show it off and feed it because it's not helping us create the life we want, not the, what we would recommend to those we love. So what I'm encouraging you to do is just kind of notice all these pet peeves we've kind of brought into our life a little bit unconsciously. We didn't say, hey, I'm going to bring a pet peeve into my life. What a great idea. We just found ourselves doing it. Okay, good information. Now we can say, is, do I want to keep that pet around? Do I want to keep feeding it? Do I want to keep uh, cleaning up after it? If the answer is no, we can start replacing those peeves with perspectives. We can start saying, you know, here's how I want to look at this situation because that triggers endorphins and serotonin. It's a beautiful thing of coming from the top of the mind. It triggers a different chemical that helps us uh, in our immune system, helps us in our blood sugar and our cortisol and all of that wonderful stuff that really helps us create and live the life we want, the one we would recommend to someone we love. So I'm going to encourage you to notice that whenever a pet peeve happens to pop up in your life, ask yourself the question, is I want to keep this pet or maybe I want to give it away? Maybe other people need this pet. Here, take this. Would you take this off my hand? You clean up after it after, for a while. In other words, we want to be very purposeful about how this middle part of the brain, the limbic system, interprets life. We don't want to see life as irritating, frustrating, annoying, and depressing. 
because then we get irritated, annoyed, depressed, and frustrated. That's not who we want to be, and it's certainly not what we want to bring into our life and feed. Hope you're finding these videos valuable. I'm loving bringing them to you. If you do, please hit the like button. You know how Google, Facebook, Pinterest all love it when you like it. Share it with your friends if you think it would be valuable. Leave a comment below. I love your comments or questions. And if you want me to come to your organization and talk about how to become more purposeful in the thoughts we bring to life, the ones we feed, the ones we make a home for, the ones we show off to our friends, all you got to do is go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, hit the contact button, let me know what you're interested in, and I'd love to talk with you about that. By the way, if you like these quotes, I send one out each week to about 6,000 people on my quote list. If you want to be on that list, just go to the website, again, or Google Bill Crawford, PhD, I'll come up on the first page. Go to the website, hit the subscribe button, it's free, and each week you will get one of these videos, one of these quotes, and about two or three paragraphs about how to apply the quote to life. So in the meantime, here's to you bringing more clarity about the kind of peeves you want to make as pets, the kind of thoughts you want to bring into your life and feed and have to clean up after. More clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.